you guys this is Sharon with Chalk Couture and Chalk and Wache. Um, so I have a project we're gonna work on it's Watts of Love Wednesday and um, y'all don't know what Watts of Love <laughs> Wednesday is let me show you Ugh. okay so first of all let me get my little hat on Okay, so you can see me good. Okay, hi guys. All right, so, Watts of Love Wednesday is um, our fundraising program. So, um, how the fundraising program works is we collect funds for these flashlights. And what these flashlights do is, I don't know if you guys can see, I have that turned on. These flashlights are um, given to impoverished countries and people who, you can't see my hat there. Um, also people who are in um, like dangerous, not dangerous, but like um, hurricane situations, tornado situations, things like that, where they have no electricity. So these flashlights are really super bright. And um, basically the idea behind it is that when their electricity, if they don't have electricity, um, once the sun goes down, they can no longer work. And they can, um, <laughs> See, this this light does all kinds of great things they can no longer work and um, so these um, flashlights are so bright that it gives them the ability to work past um, you know sundown and um, so therefore they can make money and or you know like give birth to babies or uh, you know or deliver I should say they can deliver babies past um, nighttime they can uh, go to school and you know study past dark and um, all sorts of things so we've really been raising a lot of money for these um, awesome flashlights so um, today's episode on chalk and wache we're going to be creating uh, um, a tra these transfers um, go towards the fundraising program so every one of these that is sold um, a portion of the proceeds goes to this fundraising program. So that is basically the idea behind it. So, um, let's go ahead and get started on our project. Let me get things going. All right, where is everybody tonight? Okay. All right, so um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create this one tonight. And I've got a couple of different greens that we can do. We can do either green envy or parakeet. I haven't decided yet. We're working with pumpkin pie and bark, and we're gonna be using the new red shimmer. So that's the colors we're going to do. And then we're also going to be working with our 9 by 12 palette board. So what I love about our palette boards is, gosh, it's really bright and hard for you to see. These palette boards are so cool. Um, it's like wood planks. And what's great about it is that you can chalk on both the front and the back. So it's very versatile. You can have two different looks. Um, so I, I love this one. All right, let me go ahead and get this opened here. What time is it? Oh, it's nine o'clock. Okay. So let 
let me go ahead and gonna cut these up because that's what we do with our transfers is we cut them up so that we have all of the pieces for people to be here. I didn't think nine o'clock was too late, but nobody's here right now. So if you guys are watching the replay, just make sure that you comment replay so that I know that you've seen it. And if you guys could share this, that would be awesome. So we're just gonna use um, some really pretty fall colors. I feel like it's really kind of bright. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see okay. Uh, let me put this light up a bit. It's still pretty bright. Does that help at all? Here we go. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is we're gonna put um, the plant seeds of love smack dab in the middle. And actually, let me kind of just let me kind of lay this out and see how I want it to go. We're gonna do all fall colors. This looks like a little pine cone. You can see that. That'll be cool. This one looks like a little flower. Okay, this is a leaf, so we. Excuse me, we can definitely use that leaf. I just really want um, the fall colors mixed throughout. So I'm going to put these ones aside for now. And actually, you know what? I kind of want some purple. So hang on a minute, let me grab a purple. Let's see, we have um, Fig and Aubergine, Aubergine. So I think I'm gonna open these up and see which one I want to use. I think this might just give it, got, oh, yikes. That was softer than it looked. Okay, this is a good color, I think. Does need a little water to mix in. Hey, Christy. Thanks for joining me. So I'm just mixing up this purple here. I think this will be a really good color. I don't think I want to use these other ones. Okay, let's mix this up real good. Do you see my hat today? It says Watts of Love. So what Watts of Love is, um, and you might wanna go back to see the beginning of it, 
Um, Watts of Love is our fundraising program and how it works is we are raising funds for the poor and for people who don't have electricity. So um, we, everything, all of the money that we collect for this fundraising program, we buy these lights for the impoverished countries. So these lights allow them to be able to work past sun sundown and to be able to you know they can work they can study so that they can you know go to school hi denise they can do all kinds of things past you know past dark which keeps them productive so um you know you can imagine like if someone were to go into labor and it's sundown sundown and they have no electricity well how are they going to safely deliver that baby well they need lights to be able to do that and these lights give them that opportunity to, to do so so we um, can put these lights like on our forehead like that and it gives them the ability to do all kinds of work see that so it's pretty cool let me close my door here Okay, so that is what Watts of Love is. So this project that I'm working on today, it is Watts of Love Wednesday. I'm gonna be doing these every single Wednesday. And um, basically I just want to inform people of the fundraiser and I'm gonna be raising funds for it. So I am actually selling bundles. Um, this is the same bundle that I'm working on right now. And um, this is uh, $50. And the proceeds to this are going to go straight to that fundraising program. So on Wednesdays, I, I donate all of my um, commission and fundraising, I mean commission and proceeds to the, um, the fundraiser that uh, we do. So this comes with, you get this awesome, uh, this awesome 9 by 12 palette board. You get the transfer, you get... Um, one three ounce paste you get two extra pastes and then you also get the squeegee to go with it so this is a really great package for $50 and um, all of the proceeds are going to go to Watts of Love so it's a really good deal okay so let's go ahead and get started here so these are the pieces we're going to be working with this is a really going to be a really fun fall project and we've got some um, we're going to be using the red shimmer today too all right so we have the purple all ready to go and this is the the um, bark so that one's ready to go and then this is the pumpkin pie and I might not have oh this one's still just being open let me see if I have another one of these hang on a minute okay I don't I just have this so we'll open this one up okay I love a brand new chalk. All right. Oh, the red shimmer is going to be gorgeous. I've worked with it once before and I loved it. Oops, I spilled. get this to a creamy yogurt consistency okay and now I think I'm going to use the green envy yeah these are all fall colors Okay, this Green Envy, that's in really good shape. All right, let me get these lids out of the way. 
Okay, and here comes the red shimmer. Oh, this hasn't been opened yet. Okay, um, did you guys see what I had to do to open up that old color, that old green one? I had to use my little sharp um, knife or my little sharp thing to open it, but these new ones, all you have to do is pull it like that. So they've totally improved on that, which is really cool. Actually, I want to scrape this off so we don't waste any of the red shimmer because the shimmers are the best. Oh, by the way, guys, if you can um, share this video right now, um, when we get to... When we get to 50 shares, I'm going to raffle off a prize. And actually, gosh, my phone is about to die. I have 20% left, so hopefully I can get this done before my phone dies. Okay, so. Not sure if you can see that red shimmer. It's so pretty. Okay, here we go. Let's not waste any more time because I don't want my phone to die. Okay, so plant seeds of love. So we're going to put the smack dab in the middle. And I'm not going to use the, I'm not going to fuzz tonight because we're working on wood. And technically I'm supposed to, um, I'm supposed to wax this, but I'm not going to. Okay, so we're going to use the red shimmer for this part, and I'm going to use the small squeegee. That goes on so pretty. Wasn't that cool? Let me show it to you. Can you see the shimmer? Can you see that glitter? It's really cool. Um, do me a favor, guys. When you do share your share this video, comment below shared. Okay, so that I know that you did. Denise, you sent to three of your friends in Messenger. Awesome. Thank you very much for that. Okay, so... Um, I think we're done with this small squeegee because the next, the next ones are going to be real small. Okay, so this, this is a project where I'm going to be, so this one here, like I'm going to use it in several different places in circular, um, you know, in a circular pattern all around this middle here. So, um, I have to be careful to move quickly on it so that I don't have to clean it in between. Hang on a sec. Okay, sorry. I was plugging in my hair dryer. So I'm going to use my heat gun now. I want to make sure this is good and dry. Okay, that feels pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one. And I'm going to do this one in brown. Just come right over to the next spot. So 
So the reason why you have to work fast is because that chalk, uh-oh, can, um, the chalk can get stuck inside of the silk screen. And if, like it gets stuck if it dries. And so that's why you have to work quickly. So that worked out really good. So we're done with that one. So let me dry it real good. Um, shared, okay, so it sounds like we probably have four shares so far. So thank you for that. Okay, that's good and dry. Okay, so next, let's see. We're gonna have some pretty flowers here. I think I'll do these flowers next, and I'm gonna make these orange. quite sure how this is all going to look in the end. I think it's going to be a bit of a surprise. Usually I kind of have an idea of what something's going to look like, but I'm really not sure today. So that one I kind of overlapped a bit. Okay. So I think I'll put that aside for now. Okay, let's get that dried real good. My family's really loud. Okay, so what have you guys been up to lately? Have you have you guys had a good summer? Um, let me know what you've been doing. I actually just came from Alliance, Ohio. Um, one of my very good friends, who I used who used to be my upline with Clever Container, um, she lives in Alliance, and so we were visiting her and she actually lives on a farm and i have never really spent much time on a farm at all um i mean i've been on farms but i haven't really um i haven't stayed on one and so it was it was such an amazing experience for me um because i'm a city girl i am straight up city and so this just was a whole new experience. And so she has all this land. She's got seven acres of land and um, so we rode on her golf cart and you know she showed us all the land and her husband actually made her husband actually built their house um, which 
just really blows me away. I don't know how any one person knows how to build a house, but he did. And um, it's a really nice house. So they have, um, they have all these vegetable gardens, you know, as most people who live on a farm do, of course. Um, but this is just for their own personal, personal use. They don't make money, like they're not farming to make money. They just do it for their own fun and enjoyment. And uh, so as, you know, each meal that we had, there was always fresh fruits and veggies and um, it just was the coolest thing. And then they also have a, what am I trying to think? Um, so her husband, like you go down this big hill and her husband had built a log cabin down at the bottom of this hill. So all of their um, kids throughout the years have had parties down there. And so like this log cabin, you walk in there and it has four built-in um, bunk beds. And so they've had family parties down there with, um, you know, uh, uh, like kind of like a campground where they have a campfire and all this great stuff and he even built an outhouse so you don't have to keep going up to the house you have it right there so it just was absolutely the coolest thing so let me show you guys what I have so far you can let me know what you think I think it looks pretty cool and so now um, I think for this pine cone I'm going to do some sort of a gold, like a gold shimmer. So don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Okay. So um, I really just had such a good time over there and it really kind of made me long to live on a farm, which I never, ever, 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 ever thought I would say that. Okay, just strategically placing it. This gold shimmer really looks good on here. And put that one there. Okay, so that's probably good for the pine cones. So now what we have left is we have this cute little guy, which actually I was going to make purple, but now I think I'm going to make it um, red shimmer. I did, Denise. I, I really had a fabulous time. We were only there for like 48 hours. So your grandparents had a farm. You miss it. You wanted to get a farmhouse, but hubby said too much work. They, they you know, they probably are a lot of work. Um, they just love it though. They don't mind the work at all. So it just really depends what you want out of life. 
and what your jobs are because um, if you you have if you have you know jobs that keep you super 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 duper busy it's just not even possible to do something like that like my husband travels a lot so there's no way he would have the time to keep up a farm But the other cool thing about it is that my friend, um, her parents live right there on, um, her parents live, ne or her um, nephew and his family live in the house next door, and um, her parents live in the house next door to that. So her parents once owned the whole land and then they sectioned it off for their kids. And um, her nephew lives in the house that she grew up in. So the house that she grew up in is where her nephew lives. And then my friend built on the land next to it. And um, so they just have this really great fun experience. And then they just take that golf cart wherever they want, all over the place. Let's see. So if you guys could do me a favor, if you could go to my website and check out all of the, the new transfers that we have, let me know what you would like to see me um, what you would like to see me make in the upcoming months because I want to make what you guys want me to make. Um, yeah, wouldn't that be awesome to have your family just right there? I think it would be totally cool. Okay, I think we're done with that red. Okay, next is the green. The green leaf. And I've been forgetting to dry this off, but it's worked pretty well. Um, Denise, yes, the summer has gone by so super fast. I don't really know where to throw these leaves. Let's get the green going. Well, I'm done traveling um, for a while. I'm not going anywhere until the end of August. And then I am meeting a f one of my team members in West Virginia. We get together a few times a year and brainstorm activities for the team. And that's just kind of what we do. She lives in Virginia, and I'm in Ohio, so we meet halfway between. And then the summer is over. Okay, well that is it. So you guys can let me know. Oh gosh, I'm down to 10%. Um, you definitely want to see some Halloween and Christmas. Yes, I am going to be working on those um, probably starting tomorrow um, with a little bit of summer still mixed in. But here we go. That's what it looks like. I think it's very pretty. 
So, um, you know, you guys could make this look different if you wanted to. You have all of the pieces. Um, you know, you can spread it out a little bit more, make it look a little bit bigger. You can add some things to the top and the bottom. Um, you can just get really creative and do what you want with it. Um, so just to remind you, well, not remind you, but for those of you who are watching the replay, um, I am selling this for $50. This is our Watts of Love bundle. And um, all of the proceeds for this is going to um, our Watts of Love fundraising program. So this is really a great thing to purchase if you want to do something to help those poor countries to get light. Um, and that is why I'm wearing this flashlight. So this is what um, the proceeds buy. And these lights go to... Um, they go to all of the poor countries that do not have electricity and it gives them the ability to work past um, sundown and you know they can go to school they can get or you know like they can study past sundown they can deliver babies they can do all kinds of amazing things to help them to not be as poor as they would be if they had no electricity so it's really a great thing and you can totally help that cause just by purchasing um, this bundle we also have um, just so that you guys know we have um, a Roundup program, so anytime you make a purchase on my website, it gives you the option to round up to the nearest dollar, and then all of those proceeds go to um, Watts of Love as well. So that's another great way that you can um, help contribute. So, um, another thing I wanted to tell you, and Denise, you're gonna get one of these. This is um, our idea book. If anybody wants to host a Facebook party, um, I will send this to you when your party closes. And it is 90 pages worth of really great ideas, tons and tons of ideas of great things that you can chalk. So this is a really amazing thing to um, get. So if you want this, just um, comment below Facebook party and I will give you some information about that. So, um, one other thing I wanted to tell you all is um, if you love to craft and you love um, do-it-yourself type projects and whatnot, this is a really great way to make some extra money. So keep that in mind if um, making money is something that you need to do. So um, let me know if I can answer any questions for you on anything, and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.